Time for bitty game. Oh, don't say that. There we go. Delightful. I'm gonna play a new game. Oh shit, you know what? I have the lights on. I should turn them off. Ow! Cock and balls. Punch to the wall. I met Anne first, waiting for the bus. Normally, I avoid talking to just about anybody, but she struck up the conversation. She was so pleasant, so confident. She smiled at me as if she had known me as a kid and we were just catching up after all these years. She told me she could tell I had a hole in my life. 
She knew what that was like, she said. She had also had a hole, but it was gone now. I asked her what she was selling, and she laughed and said nothing, nothing at all. That what she had to offer was free for anyone who wanted it bad enough. Oh, that's how they fucking I get her you. Helped her. She just said, James. Brush, here we go. It's time to explore. Now, I'm going to go ahead and edit something though. Black Sage Ranch. Okay, hold on. I want to wait. Site of the 1993 perf. Okay. Oh, never mind. I don't need to do anything with the mouse. Okay, cool. There's my car. This is the place. Okay. I understand. Gate won't budge and you didn't bring anything to bust through. Okay, I gotta find a way in. Yeah, there's a hole in the fence somewhere. This portion of the fence appears to be badly in need of maintenance. Okay. something. Do I have anything in my trunk, perhaps? Oh, I'm walking into a fence. Not going to lie, you're surprised it actually made it all the way here. You brought some gear in the trunk. Haha! -ha! I knew it'd be- oh, I can run. Oh, trunk. Wait a minute. I thought that was a back window. Okay. Pair of wire cutters. Yes. Oh. Uh, I need to get closer. The wire cutters clip through the rusting fence easily and create a small hole. Alrighty. Now is that going to be all part of it too? a lot to explore. It's got a vibe. Damn. We need to find something. I think it gas or something. Is that a cornfield? What just disappeared? Shadows. I don't appear to have stamina. Which is good, because I actually find stamina in games annoying. Okay, that's caps lock. I'm pressing the wrong button. Tab. Okay. <laughs> eh. I can just walk in. It's too dark to read anything. Hmm. 
Okay, so that's why we need the the um, generator. Moldy dishes litter the tables, stained and dusty. There's no food, though. Wild animals likely finished the scraps. The door's closed after me. Well, uh, I had just graduated from college. You know I was a communications major. That part was true. So, I graduated and I couldn't find a job. I had no idea what I wanted to do and got pretty depressed. My boyfriend at the time said I was holding him back and took off, so that was that. I could have moved home, but I didn't. I stayed out in California, but it's not like I had any friends there. My parents would call and I would just lie about how things were going. I didn't know what I wanted because, I guess, I didn't really want anything. I would wake up and just count the seconds ticking off of my life until I fell back asleep. We were all broken in some way, I think. I didn't realize some I more than others. during this. Hmm. Yeah, that's how cults get people. People who are down on their luck. And just need some help. Perfect heaven awaits those of faith. It's too dark to read. Nice instrument once, now the strings are rusted and the lacquer faded. Note to Leonard. It's too dark. Huh. Another note. It's pretty dark in here. Flies buzz around a sink piled with unwashed dishes. What's the kitchen schedule? The interior is coated in the long dried blackened remains of various melted frozen foods. Okay, that leads back out. So it doesn't look like there's anything in there to help me out. I assume it doesn't work because I don't have a record or I haven't done anything with the generator yet. Ping pong table. It's the only game you see around. Doesn't seem like there's enough room to play. <laughs> yeah! What the fuck? I assume it's gonna say that it's too dark to really examine them, so I'm gonna wait. Bathroom! Bible quote. You look tired. Bible quote. Okay. Let's go see if we can find gas somewhere. See a church way up there. That's a point of interest. So what do we got going on? So I brought some gear in the trunk. But it seems like the gear was like just the wire cutters. Oh, hydrate and a future site. I better. Oh, or no, I got a light. Hold on. Just a moment. I need to unplug a thing. There we go. Oh god, it's pointed at my face. 
And I'm going to have to alt tab for just a moment. I also want to move chat up a little bit. This is chat, right? Yes. No, that's not chat. I don't know what I'm grabbing. <laughs> image three. What the hell is image three? Ah, yes. That's image three. Okay. Um, there's chat box. Move it up a little bit. Yeah, rest in peace my eyes. Okay, I have to move some things. My desk is a mess as always, but it's not that bad of a mess. Not it like like it's certainly been worse. Okay. Do you want fear cards tonight or do you want uh my Toth deck which is underneath my drawing tablet? Okay. Oh my god. I was working on my star jar, so I got star paper everywhere. God, it's too quiet. Hold on. Let me play some music while we're doing this. I gotta turn it down a little. Okay, that's a little better. Now it's not silent while I read you your fortune. <laughs> so you got Prudence. Um, it's the Eight of Discs. Now hold on a second. Dis discs is the same as Pentacles. But, um, yeah, it's, it's Prudence, but or no, wait. I'm looking at the wrong thing. That's why. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I don't think this is a bad card, actually. Um, let's uh, move the light a little bit so it's not as harsh. Maybe get a big cam so you look at it more. Yeah, so so No, this this isn't a bad card for once. Listen. <laughs> you got prudence, which is like it's it's you I, I, I interpret this as you kind of uh being di diligent in accomplishing your goals. So you're it, it's it's looking up. Are you sure? I'm sure. Things are looking up according to this card. Because every other card you've gotten up until this point has been like, you are too indecisive. You are directionless. This one is saying that uh, you are going to be prude. You are going to be... Uh, which, you know, sounds bad. The word prudish doesn't sound great. But in this context... Yeah, in this context, it's saying that you are going to accomplish your goals by being diligent. And um, I, I think it's kind of saying that you are being too generous for your own good. Um, that you need to kind of focus on yourself more than others. 
in order to accomplish what you want. That is my fortune for you. Question marks? I don't know. <laughs> now I'm doing too much, bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the cards before were like, you're not doing enough. And now this one's like, oh, well, hold on. You're doing a little too much now. Take it down a little. <laughs> <laughs> um, it could also indicate that you need to just like buckle down and uh, you know uh, hone your skills <laughs> whatever that means these dang cards listen this one isn't actually negative. The other ones were. This one is positive in comparison. <laughs> but yes. Yeah, I've seen little bits and pieces of that game. I'm excited. When you uh, eventually finish that game, I will definitely play it on stream. Shit, I forgot to s put it back to... In-game. Where'd my guy go? Oh, there I am. <laughs> oh, I gotta turn off this light. I love playing indie games. This is an this is an indie game right now. Um I need to find gas or something. Huh! There's no there's nothing but dirt roads and dust that way. You have to go inside. I was trying to go around. Okay. Right. I, I get- I understand. <laughs> it doesn't like that I got to the other side of this fence, I think. <laughs> yes, I understand. I'm just- Let me back. Oh. <laughs> I, I thought I brought- oh, I broke the game for a second there. Oh, you know what? I can probably- Oh wait, I can't get to the other side of this fence. That's right. Let's um, take a better look at this generator. A diesel generator. There's a keyhole next to the ignition button. You wonder if there's any gas remaining after all this time. I don't... Okay, maybe I don't need... <laughs> maybe I don't need gas at, uh, then. I need a key. Interesting. Okay. Excellent. I am I'm excited about a free copy. Although I would have paid for it. I'm I'm okay with paying my friends for things. <laughs> okay. This is an exploration game. I am going to explore everything. So I'm thinking I must have missed something. It's too dark to read. I mean, you could turn around and, like, take it outside to read it, but I guess not. Pick up map. Oh, yo! Donate, but no... Uh, I will donate, yes. At some point. <laughs> it can be a little confusing getting around our little home. Don't worry, Sister Anne has printed some maps to help you get acclimated. I have a map. Does it tell me where I am? Okay, so I'm... I'm at the community hall. Right now. Ooh, 
once it's finished. Yeah, that makes sense. It's too. Bu yeah, I knew it was gonna say that. Oh. Oh, I thought maybe there'd be a secret because that one's crooked. Oh, it didn't like that I was in front of that door. Listen, horror games like to put stuff in the toilets and the sinks. Was, maybe there's a key in the toilet. They do that. They always do that. Not this one, perhaps. I have one cat. I have resin. She is very old. Yeah, I... Stop. Oh, yes. Ooh, I loved that noise when I picked it up. That was a good noise. Okay. Yeah, I'll send you a pic. <laughs> Yo, it's humming to life. closing by themselves is convenient but uh, unsettling you take a book off of the shelf we know the conspiracy can trace itself back as far as the 4th century when Athen Athanasius and his cronies first began to exclude essential works from the bible Get to know the newest members of the flock. Welcome them with open arms and open hearts. My name is Christopher. I'm from Flagstaff. I was a farmer before and hope to lend my expertise to help feed the flock. Fun fact, I hold the record for most blue ribbons at the Arizona State Fair Livestock Competition. I'm Viola. My two wonderful children, my son Lucas and daughter Juliet, are from Fresno. I'll be helping out with schooling our children in the ways of the Lord. Fun fact, I was born in Vancouver, so I'm technically also Canadian. Hello, I'm Peyton. I'm from a small town in Oklahoma you've probably never heard of. I ran a grocery store in town, but ever since it shut down, I've been looking for something more. Father James is helping me find that. Fun fact, I served in the Navy for a term. Hello friends, I'm Candace. I love cooking and crafts, so hope I can help energize the flock so that we may fulfill his word. I can speak three languages. I'm Josiah and I'm so thankful to you and the Lord for giving me a home after years living on the streets. I finally feel like I have a family. Hello, I'm Lillian. I was a student at USC before I dropped out because I couldn't stand the indoctrination anymore. I was looking for truth and I didn't find it there. Now I know I was looking in the wrong place. I've been to four continents in the last three years. My name is Vance. I saw through the lies of my parents' church. They were filling our heads with blasphemy. Now I see the truth of it because of J Father James. I'm a really fast reader. Have you sinned? Are you plagued by doubt? Do you fear death? Do you have the nagging feeling that your church doesn't have the answers? There's a reason. Father James can help. Painting shows an intensely focused middle-aged man. He holds a book in his left hand. 
The painting seems less than professional, but the man's determination shows through. An angel walks through an empty field, his hands pressed together in prayer. This painting depicts an angel tenderly cradling the corpse of Jesus Christ in his tomb. Jesus saith to him, He that is washed needeth not save to wash his feet, but is clean every whit, and ye are clean, but not all. Yo, Jesus likes feet. Pass it on. And if a woman have an issue, and her issue in her flesh be blood, she will be put apart seven days, and whosoever toucheth her shall be unclean until the even, and everything that she lieth upon in her separation shall be unclean, everything also that she sitteth upon shall be unclean. Why is this in the toilet? And whosoever toucheth her bed shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until the even, and whosoever toucheth anything that she sat upon shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until the even. Why this in the bathroom? <laughs> Why wouldn't it be in the toilet, right? <laughs> Of course, I've been a fool. I can turn the record player off, but it adds to the vibe. Performance schedule, Monday, uh, Monday Josiah plays original hymns, gospel reading, Juliet violin recital gospel reading, children's reenactment of Book of Sariel. Note, the power has been pretty finicky lately. You might have to restart the generator to get the lights back on. The key is in the box. I couldn't read that until I got the generator on. What is the point? Spinach casserole, barbecue, fasting. Oh, they don't get to eat on Wednesdays. Pork chops, beef stew, chicken. Fat, they don't get to eat on Sundays either. Due to power outage, food stores have spoiled. We will have to replace the planned meals with canned foodstuffs and produce until new supplies are acquired. Small tin of green beans dented on the side. A huge can of pork and beans, just like you used to eat growing up. You fiddle with the knobs. There is no hiss of gas, no clicking ignition. The range is so long dead. I don't get to read that. Cardboard boxels labeled utensils, decorations, grains. Oh, there is a light switch. Leonard hasn't heeded warnings about taking more than his share of food. He keeps swiping snacks from the storage room. Until we can straighten him out, I've decided to move his favorite foods into the farm shed and hide the key on the side of the bookshelf next to the ping pong table. Uh -huh. Stacks of cardboard boxes storing everything from jars of yeast and jars of jam to paper plates and replacement light bulbs. Okay. Tons of cereal boxes, none of the sugary stuff though. Boring. Oh, it's a cult. Of course they don't eat sugar.
nothing. Why can't I turn on the light in here? Oh, there we go. When we all get to heaven, sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansions bright and blessed, he'll prepare for us a place. Shit! What a day of rejoicing that'll be. Shout victory. While we walk the pilgrim pathway, clouds will over, spread the sky. But when traveling days are over, not a shadow, not a sigh. Mm-hmm. Right. Fringe religion. Right, that doesn't open this gate. How do I go to other places if I can't use this gate? So I need to find another key. I should be able to jump over this. It's so sh it's it's so short. There is not a jump button. Wait, I never even looked for the key. I'm an idiot. through a pamphlet on the shelf there is an ancient law that modern society has fought to bury the role of man is to protect and nourish the flesh the role of the woman is to protect and nourish the soul I don't like that where uh huh you take a bible from the shelf and skim for Christ also suffered once for sins the righteous for the unrighteous that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit. Didn't they say this is where the key was? Am I stupid? Those are the toilets. Yeah. Ooh. The pantry is not your personal snack drawer. Food is for the flock to share. If you keep stealing cookies from the storeroom, you will have to answer for your crimes in the cleansing room. Please pray and reflect on your actions and how they harm the flock. I'm praying for you too. The cleansing room sounds bad. On the side of the bookshelf. I didn't look on the side. I've been a fool. I'm gonna make a better cult with blackjack and hookers. Uh. Oh ho ho ho! So many keys! That's the Oh, no, it is. Okay. Oh, you can deal the blackjack for me? Hell yeah. Now we're cooking. Sorry, I'm getting comfortable. Okay. So there's trailers, there's school, fire pit, farm, there's all sorts of stuff to do. All sorts of things to explore. So let's check out how these cultists lived. 
Brother Earl. It's been a while, I, I suppose. Since there's like grass outdoors rusted shut. Brother Aaron. Came from in from over there. This one's called a padlock. Peyton. Christopher. This game is spooky in the way that this is just how cults are in real life. Leonard. Oh. Okay. I need a key for Leonard. I wanted to play a game that was spooky, but wasn't uh, one where you're going to be like chased by a monster at all. I just want to explore. I want to look at things. I want to learn about the world by looking at the things in it. Environmental storytelling and such. Elroy. Sister Diane. Mary and John. Viola. Oh, that was... Oh, that one's locked. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna have to find a bunch of keys. Lillian. These are showers. That was a noise. And a toilet. Showers. Toilet. I mean, they gotta poop outside, but at least they're like actual toilets and not like just a hole in the ground, am I right? Alright. Um. Cool. The key works for all of the generators. Oh, this- we're in the school. I meant to go to the farm. I went the complete opposite direction. Lucas, John, and Juliet's jackets. You wrestle through the pockets and find nothing. Okay. Juliet, honey, why are you so stubborn? Why do you reject the flock's love? You don't pay attention in class. You don't try hard on your assignments. You lie about doing your readings. I'm worried about you. I've asked Father James to take some time to speak with you one-on-one. -on -one. Please listen to him. He knows so much. He can help soothe your doubts, I promise. Please just give it a try. Mom, you're in a cult. We're all going to die. You take a book off of the shelf. The illustrated book of Bible stories. Some of the pages are torn out. A big role model for me is Father James. He is a, he is a prophet. Uh, the kid misspelled prophet. Of Jesus and a great person. He is going to save all of our souls and let us go to heaven. Father James is funny and smart too. He makes jokes during his talks that make everybody laugh. He shows that you can be a very good person even if you are a little bit weird looking. It's what is on the inside that matters. 
for teaching me that and for saving my soul. Father James is my role model. I love Father James and Jesus. Spooky. Cult leaders have to be charismatic. Anne is my biggest role model. She is a perfect wife and mother to all of us. Just like Mary. She does everything she is told to help Father James. She thinks about everyone else before she thinks about herself. I hope to be just like her if I grow up before the days of reckoning. Great work, Ellie. Anne would be so proud to hear this. You will have many chances to be just like her in paradise, so don't worry. My role model is Jesus because he is perfect and he loves everyone. I want to be more like Jesus. See me after class, Juliet. What, that wasn't good enough? She said she loves Jesus. That's not good enough for you? Leonard and Peyton are my role models. Spelled role wrong. Dumb kid. Learned a spell. Idiot. They know how to fight and how to protect the flock from Satan and secular bad guys. <laughs> oh no. Good work, John. I hope it never comes to violence, though. Yeesh. You can make out faded writing from the last lesson. The first revelation, the day Father James received the truth. Mm-hmm. I often helped Viola in the schoolhouse. I enjoyed working with the children. We taught them reading, writing, scripture. Viola was one of the most faithful among us. If Anne was like the mother of the flock, Viola was the older sister. I remember one lecture she gave the children on the nature of hell that was so vivid, so unflinching, it had the kids in tears. I told her she was scaring them, and she said, good, they should be scared. Yeah, they should be scared of hell. I'm there. I'm broadcasting live from hell at this very moment. Hell stream. Hell stream. We're going the wrong way. Mmm. -hmm. Campfire. I was hoping there'd be something in there. What, I can't just dig in the fucking mound of dirt with my hands like a creature? I have to be civilized about digging dirt? I have to use a shovel? First base in the ranch is small baseball diamond. Oh, they were playing sports? <laughs> Let him dig! <laughs> right? You get it. Pitcher's mound. Is there gonna be something underneath one of these? Perhaps not. Perhaps I am looking at these for no reason at all. There's lots of hills. I want to know all of the secrets of this cult. Is this the shed? Hmm. Yes.
a ragged old work jacket, you ruffle through the pockets, coughing at the dust. You find a key. Looks like these might have been jars of jam and pickled vegetables at one point. Now they're just disgusting. Full of garden and farm implements, still caked in old grey dirt. And is that cereal? Yeah, I'll take some batteries. Oh, I have a flashlight. Interesting. Can anyone truly know the joy of the absolute truth? The freedom that comes with re releasing all of one's doubt like so much ballast into the sea. I know that feeling now. For so long I searched. I searched among the Catholics, idol worshippers and perverts. Man, those Catholics, they're too much like the pagans. Fuck them. Um, th there, there are, there are, um, um, there are, like, groups of Christians who hate Catholic, Catholics because they're, like, they got all them cool, like, saints and stuff and they're, like, oh, they're, 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 like, pagans. They're worshipping all these different gods they don't like that they have saints they especially fucking hate it that they're like yo mary jesus's mom pretty cool they hate that <laughs> i searched among the baptists hypocrites true okay that part is true i searched among the pentecostals infested by charlatans i tried so many churches and all of them all of them to a one were filled with fools and liars now i know why father has helped me to see right yeah it was only one page examine shelf a gas can empty watering can also empty bags of seed and weed killer I do I want in there? Is there any reason to want inside that? Secrets? Any secrets? Hello? Things? Stuff to look at? No. Okay. I think we should have more gods. In my cult, we'll have so many gods. All of them. There'll be gods for everything. I don't have... I don't like how much flies is coming from the barn. I see. Blood has seeped out from under the door and soaked into the dirt. Flies still swarm the area. Well then. What was the key I got? Andrew's trailer. Oh, interesting. Oh. Okay. Well, it's time to go back to um, the trailers. I want to explore the church last, if possible. It seems like it's gonna have the most fucked up shit in it. I don't know. Churches give me that vibe. Never been in one. I'd probably burst into flames if I did. I don't know if I'm allowed in a church. I know there's no purpose to having a jump in this game, but I still wish I could. Just feels good to run and jump around.
Where the f where am I going? I'm so lost. Right. I understand now. Okay. So... Oh my god. Okay, hold on. So... It was... Peyton? I think? Oh. Okay. I looked at that map and instantly forgot <laughs> which, um... Which one I needed to go to. I'm just gonna walk around and look at name tags until I find it. It was Andrew. <laughs> Andrew is is not at all like the name Peyton. Leonard. Josiah. Vance. Elroy. Andrew. Use lamp. I, I can Oh. Come on. There. Okay. We men must all be fools to buy the malarkey spat at us by mainstream churches. The Catholic Church says we're awaiting Christ's return when they full well know better. And the rest of Christen Christendom believes them. The Mary worshippers. See, I told you, they fucking hate it that they like Mary. You can name your kid after her, but by God, if you if you think she's cool, fuck you. <laughs> Perhaps we'll never know why the Lord waited until Father James to correct the record. Perhaps our Father in Heaven waited for the earthly man he knew could bear this burden with grace. Blessed be our Lord who saw fit to include wretches like me in his plan. I await the third coming with open arms and heart full of love. Brian, I love you, you're my brother, but you do not know what you're talking about. This is my family now. They love me and I love them in a way that transcends even blood. Maybe that hurts you to hear. I'm sorry, but there is no hiding from the truth. I know you have your doubts about your church. You've told them to me. Let me tell you I have no doubts here. None. I, of course, if you stop denying what you know in your heart, we would welcome you with open arms. You need to come to us. Yikes. Andrew, I'd greatly enjoyed our talk earlier. I'd like to continue it. The children will be helping sow the fields tomorrow afternoon, so I will be alone if you would like to stop by. Life with the flock was good. We would meet for morning prayer with Father James in the chapel, then meet for breakfast, and then we'd set off to work for the day. Some of us worked the fields, others worked on expanding the compound. Taking a sip. We had a school teacher, we had cooks. In the evening we would study scripture or listen to one of Father's lectures. Then it would be time for penance, more prayer, and then sleep. I slept Sounds better those early boring. nights than I had in years. I was Where's home. the video games? Do you know how good it feels to find home after so long? I would have done anything for Father. He saved me. Man, all you do is work and pray all day. At my cult, you could be playing blackjack. Oh, 
Alright. The fuck did I pick up? Right. We need to go find Viola's. Viola, what secrets do you have to tell me? You'll join my cult, hell yeah. Get in there. Forgot I had a flashlight. I will see you tonight after alternative cleansing in the rectory. Come early. We have much to talk about. Know the day I received my first vision and you will know the code. Alternative cleansing. Uh-huh. Discussion of the lies of the false churches. Visions and prophecies. What did he prophesize? I want to know. A reading from the Book of Sario. James 113. This is the word of the angel Sariel given unto the man James in the time before the days of the taking. Sariel came unto James as he returned from unrighteous war. The angel appeared unto the man James under seven stars in the eastern sky. The angel spoke, Be not afraid, man, for you are chosen as a messenger. These words are the Lord's words. Become my words. Become your words. All right, wordy. Me. That sure is my name. Hello. <gasps> Hello. I'm exploring a cult. <laughs> you are here. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> I had forgotten what love felt like. I thought that all the years suffering under Eric's thumb had ruined me. Gotta love cults. This one is a very realistic cult. Like, this one is very much like, this is what cults are currently. So it's, uh, it's, it's very, uh, morose? I, I'm not sure if that's the correct word. I thought there was no hope for happiness ever again, but I was so, so wrong. I feel so safe here. Father James has restored my faith in Christ, but also in men and in myself. A wonderful blessing. Yes, there is pain, but it is necessary, and I enter into it willingly and joyfully. I'm so blessed to be a part of this flock and to help ensure that my dear children taste the fruit of eternal life. Lucas is taken to life here easily, but Juliet, well, we will need to be patient with Juliet. She just needs time. She'll come around and see. Father James says that Eric will burn in hell for his sins against me. I know I shouldn't take joy in that, but the thought of it makes me smile. Father James also says that even Eric could join the flock if he wanted it badly enough, but I know my husband well enough to know that he would laugh in the face of the truth. He is rotten with sin, and he will get what he deserves. Oh Lord Jesus, please give me guidance. I was only doing what he asked of me, Lord. I was doing it for him and for you, but I'm two weeks late now and throwing- Oh no! I don't know who the father is. It could be James or it could be. Do I tell him? Will he be happy with me or furious? Have I sinned? What cleansing will I need to endure to rid my soul of this black mark? Haha, <laughs> yikes. 
Forgive me if I am speaking too freely, but I care deeply about you, and I worry that you are having doubts about Father and his teachings. You're young, Lily. I understand where you're coming from, believe me, but as someone with a lot more life experience, let me tell you that you have nothing to doubt. Father James is a prophet of the Lord. He speaks the true word. If you need proof, just look at his prophecies that have come true. But more than that, if you pray and listen quietly, you will feel in your very soul the truth of his teachings. I am here for you if you need to talk. Right. I pressed the wrong button? No, I didn't. We were chosen, all of us, by the Lord. Do you know how good that feels? To be chosen? I hope you do. It's a feeling we all need in our lives. And on top of that, Father James took a special interest in me. He said Ugh. he felt spiritually invigorated by my presence, Yucky. and often called me to the rectory to spend time with him. I'm not dumb, I knew, but I didn't care. I was so Hey, what's a rectory? <laughs> I don't I don't know what the I don't know what that word means. You can get that chosen feeling from a cat. So true, bestie. It's way better. What did I get? I only have a gen- Shit. What do- Okay, hold on. What do I know then? Perhaps the- The rectory is where I need to go next then. Mines. I don't like that there is a mine at this cult compound. Alright. I need to look at the map again. <laughs> okay, it's above the school. Let's go to the rectory. Here we go. I'm on a mission. My cult will be so much better than this one. And they'll worship me! Not, not someone else. Not just a prophet. I'm better than that. Oh, it's locked. Okay, where are we going? The mines? We could go to the mines? Cleansing room sounds a little spooky. Let's go to the cleansing room. I don't like that there's a building called cleansing room. How do these people get cleansed? They're just getting like waterboarded. Okay, there's the farm. Which also did not look very promising. Oh wait, is that the cleansing room right there? Or is that the mine? Where the hell's the mine? Is that the mine? Chapel? Mines? That is the mine. The cleansing room is the barn. Hmm. I missed something. I was I was re I was listening to that stuff. I was reading all the things. And yet it has left my mind instantly. It's gone. The rectory was locked, but perhaps there was something behind it. I don't think I'm supposed to be on this side of the fence. Right. Oh, dingle darn. Ooh, 
Right, the fence was locked, so I couldn't get into it. It's too bad I can't jump. Could totally just jump over this fence. Like, from that hill over there. Maybe there is something. No. I've been a fool. I mean, it's modeled on the inside, so I'm definitely going in there. Oh yeah, I'm not supposed to be back here. <laughs> Alright, let's run all the way back. You know what? You gotta look on the bright side. I have no stamina meter. I can just run forever. I still do wish I could jump though. <gasps> that would've been so easy. Okay, I missed something. May maybe I do need to go straight to the church. I've decided it's it's not the church that's gonna be the most fucked up. <laughs> Run away from the problems, exactly. May maybe the church isn't what's going to be the most fucked up. It's gonna be the cleansing room. Going to bed, nighty night. I hope you have cryptic dreams and perhaps you'll see me there. The fucking chapel door is like a Resident Evil puzzle. Okay. The fuck am I missing? Yeah, because I only have the generator key. The mine is locked. Let me in. Nah. You know, I tried the other door, but not this one. Maybe the cleansing room is in fact open. <laughs> the cleansing room. The barn. Alright. Do do do. Shit. Man. Finding stuff is hard. Why am I allowed to look at these? There must be a reason. It's even soft. I can I can dig with my hands. I can be a little creature. Let me dig. See, and I even looked inside the farm shed and I didn't find a shovel. Did I look behind the farm shed? Why am I allowed to look at the baseball diamond? be fucked up if it was like inside this crop somewhere. Thought that I saw an animal but I think it was just a tree. a weird shadow. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 
moth holes and dust. Damn. I definitely missed something at the trailers then. I don't know where else it would be. Alright, let's run all the way back. Here we go. Well, it's very pretty. Very scenic. I'll have to reread all the notes I found. Wish there was a way to do it just from anywhere. I should be picking up these notes and keeping them. Well, it seems like I've, uh... That's the school. It seems like I've, uh... Gotten the hang of the... Whoa! Thank you so much for the follow. Delightful. Right, I need a key for that one. Caps lock. Cool. Did I just hit caps lock again? Okay. Can we hit and... I... Tab for inventory is not the best. I wish it were something else, like maybe Q, since the interact button is E. I think that would just make the most sense. Alternative cleansing in the rectory. The day he reserved, received his first vision, and you'll know the code. I mean, I assume this is the first vision, but, uh, like, it doesn't say a day. Is it gonna be 113? I, I guess I never looked at. I, ne I guess I never looked at the the lock. I just saw a lock and was like, shit, I have no keys. Fuck. Alright, let's go. Let's run all the way back. And look at the lock. Tra-la-la. I do know what a rectory is. It's where the fucking... It's where the priest lives inside the church or whatever. They have like a little room or whatever there. Oh, fuck. That's more than three numbers? Damn. I don't... Shit. I'm hitting escape and it's not working. Okay. Let's go to school. Maybe school has the answers. <laughs> First revelation, June 3rd. That's six, three. That's only two numbers. Zero, three, zero, zero, six, zero, three. Maybe. There are multiple copies of the Book of Serial flipping through. You see major inconsistencies in the different versions. Zero three zero six is is what I'm going to attempt. It's gonna be really fucked up if there isn't a, a zero on the padlock. A little evil, if you ask me, even. Trying. 
Okay, there is. It's a six. Yes! <laughs> I am so smart. I'm so good at video games. I hate that. We know the conspiracy. We read that already. That was in the, that was in the the mess hall. Wow, nice rug. Let me look. Meditation on suffering. What do each of us have in common? A soul, the stain of sin, love of our Lord? Yes, these things, but also we have all endured great suffering, and that, friends, is why we are here. As Christ suffered, so we have and will continue to suffer. Our suffering paved the path for each of us to join the flock. Suffering, as we know, is the divine currency. But like any currency, we can exchange one form of legal tender for another. And so we pay our debt in physical pain. Why? I know some of your fear. You fear the cleansing room. I understand. I really do. But bodily pain is but temporary. It can be overcome. Spiritual pain is eternal. It will follow us long past the days of reckoning. This is your choice. Bleed now from temporary wounds or tr of transient flesh or suffer eternally. When you put it that way, it's not such a difficult decision, is it? Yuck. I'll say it again. I'm going to make a better cult. It's going to have blackjack and hookers. I would like to clarify a few points of confusion that I have noticed among the flock. It is imperative that this is understood deeply and truly. I am not the Christ. Only Christ is the Christ. I am a prophet of Christ, his messenger of flesh, a vehicle of the word. I have been blessed with abilities beyond the normal man and a great responsibility by our Lord. But I am still only a man. My teachings are directly transmitted from our Heavenly Father. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Nothing in the oven. Okay. Oh, let there be light. Alright. Okay. You look tired. Yeah. Typewriter? A dusty old typewriter with a yellowing sheet of paper in the car uh, car ca carriage. Yep, I was reading that right. This is the safe room. Close the door. Where's it? The there is no door. Fuck! Man, what well, kind of safe room has no door? Beyond these doors is a sacred space only fully cleansed believers who have been given express permission by Father James may enter. The Lord protects this room. The trespassers will suffer mightily. Shit! Man. We gotta go in the sex room. Large flat pedestal, not unlike an altar, stands at the foot of the bed. The world is a wicked place and redemption can only be found through Christ. This is the truth and th though it was known to the Lord's flock, they did not heed the word. The Lord Christ descended in final judgment some 1,000 years ago as foretold in scripture. Among man he found not one true believer. The angels wept, but the covenant was kept as it must be. None were given eternal life at the feet of the Father, and men were left to fester in their own sin. 
for 200 generations man has desecrated the earth given unto them. They have murdered each other, known sinful, sinful women and lusted after false gods. They do not deserve to be saved. <laughs> All right. My sweet, sweet V, I have a very important task for you. There is a deceiver among us, a lying snake who intends to bring ruin upon the flock. This is a test we must prove our faith by removing this cancer. The deceiver will never reveal himself to me, but he might to you. I would ask that you use your feminine charms to get close to the men in the flock. Specifically, I'm worried about Andrew, Leonard, and Peyton. Get them to open up to you. If they have nothing to hide, they will be forgiven before Christ. Find the deceiver so that we may strike him from this world and prove our dedication to our Lord. Do this for me, for the flock, and for Christ. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Pillows askew. Camcorder aimed at the bed. You hit the eject button and find it at VH tape inside I have it I don't want the sex tape oh as we all know sin is our debt I read this no I didn't wait a minute did I did I read this Is by paying with pain that we cleanse ourselves and become ready for the days of reckoning. However, new teachings have been bestowed on me by the angel Serial in a vision. The doctrine of alternative cleansing has been revealed. As we know, sin is the intersection of unclean vectors, but if one is fully cleansed, how can sin come from the act? In fact, the opposite is true. The act becomes a godly one. To know a deeply, a truly cleansed body is to be cleansed oneself, that is, to lie with one who is fully cleansed is to bypass the need for blood cleansing. Yuck! Bad! Fucked up. Listen, if you join my cult, you will not be forced to have an orgy. I tell you what. I don't see how that's useful. Trailer master. Oh. Oh. So I can open the other trailers now. Time to run all the way back. Oh, it's getting darker. Inch resting. I did not realize there was going to be a daylight cycle here. All right, let's go. It will not let me do that. You know, aside from um, uh, the the evilness of uh, this cult leader and such, it is pretty nice. It doesn't work on this door. Strange. Inch resting. Rested shut. I've already been in there. I feel like I hear talking from somewhere. Interesting. Damn. Hmm. 
Maybe that's just the noise the lock makes. Andrew's door. Oh wait, I was in here already. Yeah. Elroy, let me in! Damn. Josiah. Leonard. Alcohol! Oh, <gasps> Yo! Let's go. Oh, wait. This is the guy that was eating all the cereal. Right. Leo, it's gotta be him. I'm certain he hasn't talked yet, but I have no doubt. Scrounge around his trailer to s and see if you find any leverage. We busted the lock, grabbing him last night, so you'll have to use your bolt cutters to get in. Thou shalt not kill, but it's not that simple, is it? We are God's army. We must protect our flock. This is a war. With souls on the line, we must be resolute, unwavering. So why won't my hand stop shaking? Why do I keep seeing his face when I close my eyes? Somehow, I didn't think fighting for the Lord would mean beating an unarmed man to death with a shovel. Lord, why won't my sh hand stop shaking? Yeah. I mean... The deceiver changed Father James, though only a few of us seemed to notice. He had new revelations almost daily. Doctrines changed. Actions that would have been terrible sins previously were suddenly permissible, while seemingly innocent behaviors became mortal sins. The others seemed to have no problem going along with it. I wondered if something was wrong with me. Father grew visibly agitated, and as adamant as he was about the sanctity of his new revelations, Something was different. He was scared. And that scared me. You know what's scariest of all? How cold my toes are right now. Ugh. It's so cold in my computer room. Oh, the misery. So I have bolt cutters now. So I'll be able to get into that other one. But is there any more that I can get into using that key? There's the shovel. God, that pickup noise is so good. Transmit code. Encryption code. Compromised need. Do not re frontal raid. Oh shit. Yep, he was a fucking cap. I'll let it slide this time. It's dead anyway. I changed my lock like you suggested. I left a copy of the new key under the tree near the fire pit. Man, his name isn't even James. It's Donald. Mm-hmm. Born Idaho, early 50s, unclear, Vietnam vet, honorably discharged 1970 due to shrapnel injury. Born again in late 70s, criminal record includes larceny, drug possession, vagrancy. Married to Anne McKittrick. Signs of amphetamine addiction. Receives visions from an angel named Sariel. Starting in 1986. Left former church and founded Perfect Heaven with Wife. Purchased Black Sage Ranch, 1991. Anne McKittrick, Israel. Born Oregon, not much known. Worked as a secretary for a he heating and cooling company for years met donald james through church married 1981 complete loyalty to husband primer primary recruiter for group 
Andrew Custer, born, recruited in Houston, owned small farm, runs the farm for group, frequently writes to his brother in El Paso, Viola Dewitt, mid-30s, from Albuquerque, two children, Juliet, 11, Lucas, 9, recently divorced from her husband, claims frequent abuse, frequent consort of Father James, Leonard Vanderhoff, late 20s, former police officer, National Guard, military training, discharged due to drug addiction. James promised to help him get clean, seems to have worked for a little while, access to weapons, trains, group members in arms and tactics, often has alcohol on his breath, relapse dangerous. I thought we were in Leonard's thing. Isn't this in Leonard's thing? Why's he got a thing about himself? Maybe I'm not in Leonard's thing. Whose thing is this? I forget where I am. Lillian Carter, early 20s, born San Diego, 1972. Recent college graduate, some useless degree, depressed, trouble finding job. Often goes to rectory for alternative cleansing with other women. Seems to have more doubts than some others. Reach out to her. Oh, wait. I think I accidentally... Oh, it's Peyton. Shit. We're in Peyton's. Le Leonard's the one that killed him. Right. Oh, no, that was it. Okay. So Peyton was... um trying to stop the cult. Right, 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 right. So, we have... Fuck, what do we have? Oh, right, right. Um, over here. It's getting dark out. Fuck. Can't jump. <laughs> Whoops. Finding a small brass key. Lillian. Lillian had a completely separate... Completely separate trailer than the rest of them. The master key didn't work on hers. I don't remember which one was hers, though. Lillian, a member of the flock who will not be named, happened upon one of the books you purchased while on a trip into town. While reading non-church materials is not strictly prohibited, I must caution you against consuming too much if any secular material. The godless worldview is powerfully poisonous with its promises of pleasure without consequences and freedom from rules. But here you know true freedom. Freedom from sin, freedom from damnation, and the true pleasure of God's love. Consider this a friendly warning. I want the best for you, my sister. If it becomes clear that you are reading is compromising your faith, we may have to change the rules in order to protect you as well as the rest of the flock. Forgive me if I'm speaking too freely, but I... Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's the same as the note inside uh, Viola's place. Cleansing room key. Uh-oh. How can the absolute truth change so rapidly? First, the doctrine of cleansing, which was immutable and unavoidable. 
pain as currency, then the doctrine of alternative cleansing, which seemed to change the rules against extramarital sex and polygamy, but only in the service of a clean body. Now Father James has received another revelation, which he pronounced privately only to a few of us women. It's not written down. It hasn't been added to the Book of Sariel, and it directly contradicts previous doctrine. Father says that the Lord has brought a deceiver into our midst in order to test the strength of our faith. We must be ready to, protect, uh, to prove our dedication to the flock, and like Abraham with his son Isaac, we must be ready to sacrifice our notion of what is moral in order to serve the greater cause. Is this God's plan for us? To use our bodies as tools? Why doesn't this feel right? Are you in a cult? It's a scary question, but an important one. Spiritual fulfillment and community involvement are important aspects of a healthy life, but it's possible for these to take deeply unhealthy and even dangerous forms. If you're reading this, someone who cares about you is concerned about your well-being. The group displays excessively zealous and unquestioning commitment to its leader and whether he is alive or dead regards his belief system, ideology, and practices as the truth, as law. Questioning, doubt, and dissent are discouraged or even punished. Mind-altering practices such as meditation, chanting, speaking in tongues, denunciation sessions, and debilitating work routines are used in excess and serve to suppress doubts about the group and its leaders. The leadership dictates sometimes in great detail how members should think, act, and feel. For example, members must get permission to date, change jobs, marry, or leaders prescribe what types of clothes to wear, where to live, whether or not to have children, how to discipline children, and so forth. The group is elitist, claiming a special, exalted status for itself, its leaders and members. For example, the leader is considered the messiah, a special being, an avatar, or the group and or the leader is on a special mission to save humanity. The group has a polarized us versus them mentality, which may cause conflict with the wider society. The leader is not accountable to any authorities. The group teaches, or implies, that it is supposedly exalted ends justify whatever means it deems necessary. This may result in members participating in behaviors or activities they would have considered reprehensible or unethical before joining the group, for example lying to family or friends, or collecting money for bogus charities. Subservience to the leader or group requires members to cut ties with family and friends and radically alter the personal goals and activities they had before joining the group. The group is preoccupied with bringing in new members. The group is preoccupied with making money. Members are expected to devote inordinate amounts of time to the group and group-related activities. Members are encouraged or required to live and or socialize only with other group members. The most loyal members feel there can be no life outside the context of the group. They believe there is no other way to be, and often fear reprisals to themselves or others if they leave, or even consider leaving the group. If one or more of these are true for your group, it may not be a healthy community, but don't worry, help is available. Let, let, okay. I know you're beginning to doubt and are right to do so. Father James is not what he says he is. If you want to talk more, hang around after evening prayer. I'll linger too. I can help. You are not alone. I'm putting my trust in you with this. He risked his life coming to me. Somehow he could tell that I was wavering. I'm still not sure how. He was from the FBI, he said, and he was here to investigate the group as a cult. When he said that word, I told him to go to hell. I almost went right to Father James, but I didn't. He left me a pamphlet that talked about the signs of a dangerous cult. At first I refused to read it. What was the point? How could that have anything to do with our group? But I did read it, and even though my entire brain was screaming at me, I went back to him. 
Yeah. Okay, so I have the key to alternative cleansing, I think it said. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so so do, does this go to... Does this go to... The barn? Or does this go to... The dude's... House. What's in the attic? What's in there? So there's the barn. Let's check the attic first. I'm trespassing. God might smite me. Oh no. What will he do? Shoot a lightning bolt at me? Like the almighty Zeus. I'm so scared. Nope. Okay. So it must be for the barn. Look at that. I got out of there before the front door closed. Whoop. Just gonna phase right through. No big deal. The sun is almost completely down. The eye of God watches me. Ignoring any sense of privacy. That's just like him. Alright. Is there gonna be dead people in here? A dead animal? What will we find? Interesting. Hmm. blackened blood has seeped into the cracks of the altar. Improper thoughts. Three cuts with a small blade. Improper thoughts. Five cuts with a small blade. Stealing one finger or one hand depending on the item's value. Sloth. Two lashes from the whip. Taking the Lord or Father James's name in vain. Five cuts, large blade. Murder, rape, or idolatry. Idolatry. The violating part, hand, genitals, eyes. Damn. have we here? I can't, uh, I can't listen to the, uh, creepy record. And yet the Lord in his infinite love and compassion has not forsaken those who have forsaken him. No man is without the cloud of sin, but the light of the Lord shines brightly. To make thyself ready for the Lord's embrace, cleanse thyself of sin by way of self-sacrifice. Give up thy blood, thy flesh, for it is soiled and pathetic, unworthy of the Lord's gaze. For each sin committed by hand, whip the arm once. For each sin committed by the feet, whip the leg once. For each sin committed by the eyes or mouth, cut the face once. 
pray thou are over thy spilled blood, and in cleansing it thou cleanseth thyself. Sin is thy debt, earthly pain by th thy currency. For those who are thoroughly purged of sin in this manner, and who have followed the commandments of the Lord, and who believe truly in their heart and body, the days of taking will bring them to the feet of the Lord, free of earthly flesh, awash in divine light for eternity. Have faith, be cleansed, and this will be your reward. He called it the cleansing room, where we would exchange pain in this realm for forgiveness in the next. We'd all gather in front of the altar, and one by one we would declare our sins to the flock, each of us given penance to perform in front of the others. Bloodletting, self-flagellation, I saw men break their own bones, and women cut off a finger that had caused them to sin. It was true devotion, and it was terrifying and wonderful to see. Key to the mines! Yo! Okay. Okay. I don't know why I have the axe. This is why I have the axe. <laughs> Jack away the axe until the boards fall away, revealing revealing an open space behind. Yo, what? <laughs> Where we going? Damn. Oh yeah? Uh-huh. Why would I want to activate the elevator from down here? I also don't like that all the lights have turned off. Interesting. That is the generator key, but I guess it doesn't work. I mean, it was already running when when I came down here. I But now it's not. Mm. I still have the axe and the shovel. But the keys that don't have any further use have disappeared from my inventory, so I'm left to wonder if uh, if they'll continue to be used or not. Target practice. Oil can. Military grade rifles and ammunition are piled among the straw lined interior of the crate. Can I open all of them? Oh, 
they close eventually, I see. Contingency, protecting the flock. Our secular enemies see our imminent salvation and find themselves filled with jealousy and rage. They want to keep the world Im immersed in sin and they will stop at no lengths to prevent us from fulfilling the Lord's plan. We must be prepared to protect the flock. Henry was able to use his contacts in the Southwest Patriots Corps to get us arms and armor for protection. He will be leading training drills starting Thursday, mandatory for all in the flock, children included. We will rise up and fight in Christ's name if necessary. Death cult. Do 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 do. Death cult. You eke out the remaining oil from the can onto the rusting wheels. You hack away with the axe until the boards fall away, revealing an open space behind. There's a person here. Yoink. A decomposing body curled in the fetal position. No, he's not. You reach out to touch it, and a note falls from the corpse's pocket. L. So I guess that would be Lillian. I got your delivery. I made a copy of the keys to James's room last night, but I think Andrew noticed. He was acting suspicious. I'm going to hide the copy somewhere. We both have access to it. In case something happens, look in the southwest corner of the cornfields. I fucking told you. I knew there'd be something in the cornfields. Southwest corner. I think it might have been my fault they found Peyton. We were seen together too often, maybe. Oh, this but is Peyton. How would they know? Maybe they saw the pamphlet? I don't know. I don't know, but I can't shake the feeling that it's my fault. It doesn't matter. They found him. They told us he had decided to leave the flock. I didn't believe them, but I didn't ask any questions. After that, we moved on. It was like he had never been there at all. It scared me, but... Instead of trying to get away, I just let myself fall deeper in. I did my best to shut out any doubts. It was easier that way. You fool! Um, okay. So we need the gas to get back up because the generator stopped running. The generator's not in this room. Okay. You empty the last of the gas into the generator and piss, press, <laughs> and piss. Piss your pants! The generator coughs and sputters but starts up. The mine section had a pretty good vibe. Be fucked up if I got up here and someone else was already here. But that's not the case. Like, I, I am pretty certain the whole point of this game is that, like, the, the, the threat is gone. It is past and gone. And you're just witnessing the aftermath. Which I think is a very good form of horror that is not done 
enough. Okay. I'm going the wrong way. So let's go to the farm. Fuck. They said left. Um. This is left, right? Far left of the cornfield. Will it be like... Shit. Oh man. Oh. Oh my brain. I should have written it down. <sighs> that way is north. Am I going to have to go all the way down and come back up because I can't fucking remember which part of the cornfield the note said? Oh my god. Why is my brain like this? And it's dark out. Let's go back into the mine. At least it's close. I took the dumb way around. Went like really far and came back around. It's not as far away as, as I made it seem. It said left. I know it said left. I just don't it also kind of matters what your orientation when looking at it is. Like, what fucking left? From where do I have to be standing for that to be applicable? Alright, back down into the creepy mine. Let's go. It is a good vibe. As far as horror uh, goes, it's a pretty good vibe. Southwest. It never said. Oh my god, it never said left in the first place. <laughs> Southwest. Incredible. Why would I ever send the elevator up without me in it? I really truly have no idea what the purpose of that would be. Unless there's like something under it. Is there a secret? Oh my god. Nope. There sure isn't. Okay. Well, I did that for no reason. Oh god. I'm like stuck. <laughs> That was a little spooky scary. Ugh. 
I hate that the door's open towards me. All right, southwest. So let's look at the map. So north is... Southwest would be the corner over here. So it, is it is it inside this patch? Or is it like next to it? I think it'd be really funny if like this whole time this was like just a atmospheric exploration game about a cult compound. Then all of a sudden it's like, haha, fuck you. Actually, it's aliens. And it starts playing out like that scene in Signs. <laughs> that'd be pretty good. I think that'd be funny. It would detract a little from like the, the point of the game. But I do think like that kind of switcheroo would be pretty good. Did I, like, not read that note good enough again? Am I stupid? I am stupid because I'm looking at the wrong fucking- That's not southwest! I'm st Oh my god. Southwest is the other side. St oh my god. Okay. So I need to be looking at this one over here. Okay. Okay, we're in it now. We're doing it right this time. Oh, I thought that was something. I'm gonna be so upset if I'm still looking in the wrong spot. Signs was like actually a good movie. Like, when you think about it, not bad. It was pretty spooky the first time I watched it, not gonna lie. Am I still stupid? Like, hello? Am I still looking in the wrong spot? I shouldn't be. This should be... Uh, the south, the southwest plot, right? Yeah, yeah. This, this is the right one. Is it really like not gonna be inside the cornfield? It's gonna be like next to it, and I just didn't read good enough because I'm dumb and impatient. God. Oh, oh I f I'm fucking it up. Oh, it turns out I'm not good at video games. Oh, what a sham. Damn. be funny if there was like a pop-up like I see that you're lost would you like a hint we thought that this note would be good enough for you but I guess not This is southwest. Because that's north. No, I'm still stupid. That, that was looking in east. Oh my god. Oh. 
Oh, stupid. Oh, oh, the misery. Oh. It's this one. That's just a tiny shrub. You dig in the mound and sift through the loose dirt, finding a small brass key. Unlabeled. This this is the one that goes into the dude's attic. Okay, let's go. We're revealing all of the secrets. We're learning all of the truths. I do think some, some horror elements just slapped in here near the end would be pretty fun. But at that same time, I would I fucking hate chase sequences, so I think I'd be pretty mad if there was one. I don't think there's gonna be any sort of like twists. To the gameplay here. I'll be pretty surprised if there is. Okay, so that's gonna be... A reprint of an etching of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. A painting depicting Christ's dead body being removed from the cross at Golgotha. Another altar also bathed in red light, sitting under a wall of religious Im imagery. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be, honestly. Let's see. If I can kind of decipher it a bit. So I see a woman. And something else, maybe. Hmm. Interesting. Shoebox stuffed with baggies of white powder and a glass pipe blackened at the end. Finally slept last night, spoke with the devil. He came to the foot of my bed to bargain for the safety of the flock. But lo, I outsmarted him, begged me to stop my crusade, and I spat in his face. Spat in the devil's face, and he shriveled away. Sin has physical mass. I have measured it in experiments and have determined the mathematical formula for determining a person's sin. Way not visible to naked eye requires a special weighing device attuned to divine wavelengths will build and test all flock to ensure cleanliness especially Lillian, Juliet, and Leonard. Intended to wait for Juliet to come of age for alternative cleansing yuck, but came across rabbinic text citing consummation of, of marriage as young as three years in one day. We'll pray and wait for an answer. Yikes. Dream notes, a great winged leviathan emerges from the clouds, speaking in radio waves surrounded by angels. Leviathan spoke of the deceiver closing in, bringing unclean evil to the flock, infecting them with doubt, and opening our gates to the outside world. Angels flew into the leviathan's mouth and lit his tongue on fire. Breath of flame exploded outward and engulfed the world in my dream. I understood, Lord. Okay. Let's 
stackable nudie mags ranging from pretty tame to seriously perverted tucked away under the bed as if it's a 12 year old's bedroom. I, I don't I don't have a key for it. Father James's bed messy covered in thick woolen sheets that have held in years of must. my flock I have wonderful news. No. No. <clears throat> my flock I have Thank God it's not a sex tape. News. The days of reckoning are upon us. Some of you may be afraid. Damn it. No. My flock I have wondrous the days of reckoning are upon us. Be not afraid. You this don't look is the like day the guy we have in the been painting. Towards all this time. The focal point of all history. The end point. The guy in the painting creation. has red hair. I have seen the sign. You, you don't look like him. I have heard the word of the Lord. I speak the word of the Lord. I am the word of the Lord, yes, that's good there. Three, five, six, nine, damn it. Three, five, six, eight, shit. And and what's the code for the damn safe? Four. Of course. Four. Uh. Why would I use... I don't like that. Which which number is four? Shit. Do I have to rewatch that whole fucking thing? My flock, I have I'm gonna go blow my nose. No. No. <clears throat> my flock. I have wondrous news. The days of reckoning are upon us. Some of you may be afraid. Damn it, no. My flock, I have wondrous news. The days of reckoning are upon us. Be not afraid. This is the day we have been working towards all this time. The all focal this point time. of all history, the end point of all creation. I have seen the signs. Okay. I have Here's heard the, the word of the Lord. Punching I my mic, speak cool. the word of the Lord. I am the word of the Lord, yes, that's good. There. My thing here? What, what's written? Um... Three, five, six, nine, damn it. Three, five, six, nine. Three, five, it's a four. Eight. And, and what's the code for the damn safe? Four. Three, five, six, Four. Okay. There we go. Now we're figuring it out. Oh.
Praise be to the Lord, our temple has been revealed. Angels of the Lord have revealed specifications for our temple. The temple of the prophet shall be a sacred space reserved only for Father James and is chosen to further pursue revelation and closeness to the Lord. The temple will contain a single king-sized bed, food enough for two people for 200 days, full copies of my scripture, weapons, and ammunition. The measurements which must be followed exactly are as follows. Oh shit, it's time. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now, did I miss anything here? I don't think I did. Yeah. Pays right through the door. Gate. Same thing, fuck it. Whatever. Here we go. We're going to the chapel. The light's already on in there. Spooky. You place a seal on the door in here. Click somewhere inside the mechanism. go through the flames, but the flames will not hurt us. Not our true selves, our spiritual selves. I know his will, and it's time. This world is molded in filth. It's too far gone. They sent demons to test our resolve. They expected us to give up the fight, but here, today, we prove to all of them that we never gave up. Our faith never wavered. Today, we take our place at the foot of the throne of the Lord. Here now, we'll dull the bodies a little. There's no need for it to hurt. Here, drink this. Drink this. Pass these around. Things will go a little fuzzy, but then the flames will take us, and we will join our Lord in his heaven be by his side forever, where we belong. Amen. Amen. Boy, I love each and every one of you so much. God bless. That's when they locked the doors, and then Andrew and Leonard started soaking rags and lighter fluid while I, I started handing out the cups. Little paper cups full of crushed up quaaludes mixed with lemonade. Quaaludes? They were doing quaaludes? <laughs> Yo! The and put them around the outer wall. Everything caught so quickly. As soon as everything was on fire and, and people just sat, sat down in it. Let it take them. Something clicked. I, I don't know what. I needed to get out. I didn't want to die. I remembered Father's temple, and I ran. I mean, they they all supposedly got burnt, but like, this place looks fine. It doesn't look like they burned at all. So that's the final journal. Oh. 
interesting. Don't you remember? Don't you remember how you survived? Why don't you want to remember? You know why. When the time came, you couldn't face the Lord. Your doubt had eaten away at you. You didn't join them in their glorious death, but in your doubt, you not neither did you save them. You are a coward. Hmm. <laughs> what? Alright. I was thinking that uh, the, the temple seemed a little small for what was described in his journal. Another altar. Uh-huh. The covers are still rustled from the few nights you spent here. So she survived by going down into this. There's another door full of fringe religious texts and several copies of James's work in one lower corner tucked away there is a stack of comic books the door shut behind me and everything was dark and completely silent as if the burning chapel and all the people dying behind me didn't exist the drugs took over then, and it was all I could do to crawl into bed before I passed out. More weapons, huh? It goes further? Well, I was not expecting this. Interesting. Ma'am, who started the fire? Ma'am, I know you've been through a lot, but we need your cooperation to piece all of this together. Who started the fire? Um, pr pretty much everyone. Father James with the first flame, but the others helped it spread. So they weren't coerced? No. They were weeping with joy. People were singing. They fucking loved it! And you? What did you do? She survived is what she did. I don't remember which <laughs> I don't remember which door I came from. Not this one. Okay. Or maybe it was this one I came from. How come my Oh, my flashlight just doesn't work anymore, never mind. Oh no, we're going further down, okay. Alright, here we go. I hear something. It's so dark, wow. That's the weird one. You're being quiet. I don't know what to say. It's just... Lillian, was it something we did? Dad! I just don't understand how you could run off and join some insane cult. 
I don't know, Dad. I don't know. You're a smart girl. What were you thinking? Lillian, the things I've heard on the news... Where are you going? Where are you going? Yeah, Lillian, how'd you join a cult? <laughs> Chanting? So, Lillian, have you been having any more thoughts since your last attempt? All the time. It seems as if you almost regret surviving the fire. I don't know. I, I don't. It's so confusing. I didn't want to die, but I feel like I let them all down. Let them down because you didn't save them, or because you didn't die with them. I don't know anymore. Well, listen to me. No matter what, you deserve to live. I promise you. Lillian, you deserve to live. I... I need to go. I, I can't do this right now. I, I can't. we go deeper and we go we're descending into hell where I'm streaming from it's kind of a invasion of privacy if you ask me I don't know it's kind of fucked up I'm sure you don't want to hear me ramble about mechanical engineering for another 20 minutes tell me more about you you study communications right what kind of job does that get you <laughs> well, right off the bat, not much. I, I couldn't find work, so I uh, ended up backpacking through Europe for a year after college. Oh, cool. I always wanted to do something like that. I bet it was amazing. Yeah, it was super fulfilling to see all those different ways of life. Really eye-opening. God, that was a long time ago. Man, I'm jealous. I jumped right into work after school. Working 70, what, 80 hours? You know how it is. What do you it's want? To devote everything to I can it. make I can make like Caesars a, like a religion. Bloody Caesars. And I can make Yeah, I pink can pop, imagine. Which is Sprite with grenadine in it. Delicious. Oh, okay. Well, let me find my way out then. <laughs> oh, look at this. Kind of a vibe, honestly. All right. Hello, car. You have one unheard message. First unheard Sound message. Sound design's pretty good. Yesterday at seven. 15 p.m. Lil, is, is everything all right? I've been trying to get a hold of you all day. Pl please pick up. I'm worried about you. Okay, just just call me back. Love you. End this message. To delete this message, press 7. Message deleted. It's not red anymore. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, do I have to go all the way the fuck back up now? Yeah? Is that what this is? Oh, I see. Now it's all fucked up from the fire. Hmm. 
I remember now. I tried not to. I thought I could move on. I pretend it hadn't happened. But here it is. I'm looking at it. I was here. We were all here. And now it's just me. Oh, Lil, Jesus, there you are. I tried to get a hold of you for hours. Where are you? I... I, I had to take care of something. Look, just... Are you okay? I was getting worried. Yeah, yeah, yes, I'm, I'm fine. Um, I'm heading home now. Tim? There's some things I need to tell you. I met Anne first, waiting for the bus. Normally, I avoid talking to just about anybody, but she struck up the conversation. She was so pleasant, so confident. She smiled at me as if she had known me as a kid, and we were just catching up after all these years. I just ignore she people. I don't even, like, I had a respond. I pretend I she don't knew hear what them. That was like, she said. She had also had a hole, but it was gone now. I asked her what she was selling, and she laughed and said nothing. Nothing at all that what she had to offer was free for anyone who wanted it bad enough. I asked her what had helped her. She just said, James. They had a cast. this game cost? I think I got it in a bundle. A charity bundle, so... Whoa! I didn't get all of them? Oh wait, 13 out of 12. I found an extra one. I got more than the amount stated. I found all of the secrets, y'all. I'm so good at video games. It took me two hours and 25 minutes. Oh, it just closed. Fucking gonzo. Oh, no. Is it, is it broken? It says press any button to continue. Hold on, let me alt tab and get back in. Whoa. Nope. That just okay. Well. Let's um Let's get rid of that. Where is that? Where the fuck is that? Hold on. Oh there we go. Well, that was certainly an experience. Almost three hours. Of course, there were some breaks. Um, well, no, not breaks. Um, took a while to start. Got confused a couple times. Couldn't figure out how to look at a map. Let's play some music. That wasn't so bad. That was a good game. I liked that one. Well, that's gonna be it for tonight. I hope everybody has cryptic dreams. And perhaps you'll see me there. Goodbye.